do not sleep naked do not sleep naked if you want to hear why stay with me until the end of the video and you will learn why you should not sleep naked hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where i make videos about things that are creative educational and cultural now today we are going to dive into some some traditional jamaican folklore some traditional sayings that you will hear quite prevalent within the jamaican culture so have you heard some of the most fascinating superstitions in jamaica well if you haven't come along with me if you have still come along with me so you can be reminded and let us delve into this world of intriguing jamaican folklore so today i'm going to share with you 10 of the jamaican folklores that i have learned while i was growing up with my grandmother and still you'll hear it in some parts of jamaica today and so the very first one is you should walk back way to go into your house at night if you're coming from a nine night a setup you go out somewhere wherever you're coming from and it's late in the night and you get home one of two things you should stand outside for a while and wait before going to your house so don't leave from the street and go straight into your house just stay outside a little bit wait for a moment and then you go into your house or you should walk backwards to go into your house why the reason being is that if you walk back ways to go into your house then the evil spirit or the duppy the ghost Whichever term you use in your territory cannot follow you inside your house. They have to stay outside there with you. Number two, do not point at graves. Do not point at graves. Now, if you point at graves, you are going to have to bite your ten fingers, as in, ah, 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 and put them behind you and let them stay there until they are dry. If you don't do that, your fingers are going to rot. You can you imagine? Picture yourself watching your fingers rotting off. Yes, your fingers are going to rot if you do that. The third one is. Whenever you're leaving a nine night, you know, in Jamaica, we call it set up, we call it dead yard, all the terms that you want to use. If you visit the home of somebody where there's a deceased and they're having a gathering, when you leave the nine night, you should not say, I'm gone, or me gone, as we'd say in Jamaica. Yes, you should rather, rather you should say, I'm turning my back. Or in Jamaican term, me turn me back. It is believed that if you say me gone, it is believed that the spirit of the deceased or any other spirit that's lurking around will follow you home. Yes, it will follow you wherever it is that you are going. Number four, and this one i think this one has been so ingrained in me from a child i still do it you should not throw water at night in jamaica we said dash so you take the container you just dash the water do not throw the water at night right or if you must it is recommended that you should clear your throat before you throw the water for example, you go, <clears throat> <clears throat> so you make sound. So whatever evil spirits may be out there or unwanted spirits or duppy, whatever is in the space, when you clear your throat, you're saying something to them. You're alerting them that you are coming with something and they will what? Get out the way and give you room to throw your water. But it is recommended that you don't dash the water. You don't throw the water hard. You just take whatever container you have the water in and hold it on the ground and turn it over to date i still do this one when i was a child i remember my grandmother used to tell us do not throw any water at night and mind you dash it from the wrong something or the wrong person yes clear your throat first and number five it is believed that if you give somebody something and take it back 
a big swelling is going to come on your forehead a big cocoa as we call it in Jamaica a large swelling is going to come on your forehead and I believe that our four parents would have told us these things because they wanted to emphasize honesty yes in an effort to emphasize kindness because the truth is if this was really really the situation a number of us would be walking around with a large swelling on our foreheads especially as children because a number of us would have given somebody something at some point and we would have taken it taken it back all right number six do not speak loudly at nights do not speak loudly at nights and i remember this one very clear because i used to have a way if my cousins used to mess with me at night i used to scream and 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 we'd play and we'd carry on and sometimes i just bawl and if i'm crying i'm gonna cry very loud because i want to disturb everybody and i remember my grandmother used to say is my house and mind up take your voice so it is believed that if you speak overly loud at night the result of this is that you're going to have the doppy or the ghost taking away your voice so just a gentle reminder make sure you maintain peace and quiet at nights right so you don't have to be able to attempt to explain to somebody or somebody's explaining for you why you don't have any voice number seven if the palm of your left hand is itching it is a sign that you are going to receive money if the palm of your left hand left hand is itching it is a sign that you are going to get money now i used to see my grandparents and hearing many other elderly people saying as their hands start scratching them lord i will never get the money from and she used to say send it come jesus send it come send it come jesus send it come because it is always believed that if the left palm itches you are going to receive money number eight when your eyelids are jumping and we're talking about this part over here when you feel them jumping when the eyelids are jumping it is believed that you will either cry or you're going to see somebody that you've not seen in a long time now what you're going to cry for i don't know if it's good or it is bad but it is said that you are going to either cry or you are going to see somebody that you have not seen in a long time number nine the howling of the dogs now another of the saying is that if you hear the dogs howling it's believed that somebody is going to die it means somebody is going to die number 10 and last one do not sleep naked this is something my grandmother used to say all the time that when we are growing up do not sleep naked or else the angels will not abide in your house she always listen angel now visit no naked people i mean want angels to come in i mean oh so no 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 go in and no bed naked go lay down and sleep so she always said do not sleep naked because you want angels to visit your house now for all of you out there who are sleeping naked remember the angels are not visiting so maybe throw on a little pajama or something and see if the angels will visit your house according to the jamaican folklore don't sleep naked and there you have it those are the 10 intriguing Jamaican superstition that gives you a glimpse just a small glimpse into what the cultural heritage of Jamaica look like now have you heard any of these before if you've heard any of them before just put it in the comment section to see which are the ones that you've heard before if you've never heard any of them still put it in the comment section to say which of the ones you have not 
heard before the words you've heard before if you are from another island or another country what are some of the superstitions that exist in your territory put it in the comment section below and share your thoughts and so we can get a chance to learn about the different cultures that exist now if you enjoyed learning about these different superstitions please like share of course and subscribe to my channel and until i make another video be open-minded continue to want to learn and walk good